Well, it all is fine and dandy. I did some cleanup work and I just want to talk a few of those issues through. First of all, you can see here that I eliminated all of the extra menu stuff. I uh, just did that in the main.php of one of the layouts. I changed the uh, about static page here and just put a link to the YouTube videos. Now, um, I also made sure that in the controllers that I always compared uh, the current user. So for example, I'm viewing this password right now. I know a valid one is four, but it's a, uh, a password for which I don't have rights to see. It takes me just back to manage my passwords. Probably not the best strategy, but something I just did quickly. The other thing is if I just try to randomly guess, here's not a valid one it'll say that that page doesn't exist. I probably ought to be more consistent there. So I did in the password controller, I, I made sure that the current user was always checked and used for any information getting out of the database. The other thing I did is when I logged in, I now take you to this managed place here and I cleaned up these menus so that they were only uh, reasonable for what you would expect to happen. For example, on this advanced search, I allow you to search for passwords but then I don't allow you to search on user ID because there's only one user ID that you can search on and I put that in automatically. Again, these are just some of the things I did cleaning up. But what I really want to talk about is moving it to my server. One of the main things I did which was really challenging was HT access. Um, I kept getting file errors and all sorts of things and it really came down to this HT access file here. Now these strings here, these characters here, I am not really sure what they do. I, I know because I've looked up what some of these do. For example, this QSA here um, allows the query to be appended at the end, the query string. Um, but I'm not sure what these characters do. And if I go to my uh, Git, I can see that the only difference between the one that works and the one that didn't work was uh, this part right here. And I don't know what those do. All I do know is that the one that I put in there does work both locally, and this one works locally, but this works both locally and on my drive. You may run into something different based on your setup um, at your server, uh, whoever your hosting is. So I just want you to be aware of that. Uh, the last thing, which is, is somewhat critical, is, is um, getting into the uh, moving the database over. Now, I ran into a problem, and I'll show you that right here. I ran into a problem. Here's my local database here, and I exported, which really just creates a SQL file. And this is PHP um, admin on my local server, and I exported the tables from my password manager. Now, I had to create uh, tigertech.net as my hosting platform, and just you know by def you know by their configuration uh, they didn't allow that many characters so I had to delete the R uh, which ended up making a huge difference so I had to import the database into my password manage again this is PHP my admin but this is on my hosting site so I exported from my password manager created a SQL file and imported into Python manager that actually works seamlessly but what I ran into was that on main where I configure, I had to change the database name to my password manage and the way that my host is configured, the username is also password manage and the root is, the password is root, which I can change. And it's different from what my local drive is. And so I had to make those changes to make everything work. Um, so those are the main changes I had to make. Um, I cleaned up a, a few other things um, I have a lot of things that I haven't implemented yet, which I'd like to implement. For example, to manage users, I would just go to users right here normally. Well, it takes me to here because I've deauthorized all of those extraneous controllers. Um, you'll see here if I go to the controller, like emails, I've, I've deauthorized so that the only access control is I deny all, deny all users to all of these actions. And I plan on implementing that. So if you go to the website, which is kurtclement.com, my password manager, 
Um, it will take you to this page, but unless you have a login, um, you won't be able to see anything. If you'd like to email me, Kurt at KurtClement.com or KurtClement at Yahoo.com, I'll cr consider creating a user so you can try it out. I can tell you this is something that's really useful for me. I can create a lot of my passwords now, which then I can just go here, double click, uh, control C and control paste. There are a lot of websites that create some weird rules about passwords that are sometimes um, mutually exclusive. And so now I can keep track of all those passwords here and not have to try to remember them. And I keep the uh, hosted on my uh, currentclement.com so I don't always have access to that. A useful application that I can use some enhancements, but all done through the Yi framework. Um, the next project is going to be a little bit more extensive. I hope you've enjoyed this and hope you'll leave me feedback uh, or questions that I may not be able to answer. Thanks again.